Okay guys, y'all might remember in a previous video where I was showing how to make some inexpensive uh, panels for electronics and things using these new aluminum print or metal print services online. This was one I did for the shuttle box that came out. I had a few samples sent and then I'd go and cut, use my CNC to cut out the holes and drill things and it came out very nice. I decided on this project to do it again, but I used a different service called Adorama Picks. Um, and I submitted my image for the back panel that I wanted to make. And this was the first one that they sent, and unfortunately, it had rounded corners, which I'm not sure why. I don't think it was supposed to, but but anyway, that, that's okay. But my images were cut off, and um, that's not good because that's not how it looked in the software that I submitted it in. So I sent them a note and said, "Hey, this is no good. I, you know, I, this my images are getting cut off." So to their credit, they uh, allowed me to. They just refunded me and let me print another one. Uh, for free so I printed another one and I was pretty excited about it I'd move my images more to the center so they wouldn't get cut off and then I brought this one out and went ahead and actually cut it and I noticed as I was cutting the further the right it gets the further off from the image it was so and also the further up so it obviously had expanded I zeroed off of this corner on the black line so the further the right I got the more offs which means that either my image that I sent them doesn't match the g-code or what they sent me doesn't match the image that I submitted. So to test that, I went and just measured, um, just measured this rectangle from there to there, and it's around 98.9 millimeters. Now, in the image that I sent, and I sized it to be four inches by four inches, which is, which is what this plate is supposed to be. Um, you can see if I select this um, rectangle. And then go up there and ink save. It's supposed to be 93.9. So again, I set the document properties of the whole thing to four inches by four inches. Now, what I believe must be happening is they must be actually expanding the print out to account for trim and bleed or something, which I'm not quite sure why that's happening on aluminum rather than a paper process. But in any case, I think they're expanding the image and then chopping it off, which is no good if you need something to be exact. So if I knew how much they were expanding it, I could size my document properties for Inkscape, instead of being four inches by four inches, to be 4.2 or whatever it is. And that way, maybe after their ex expansion process. But all, that all just seems kind of like a lot of work. It'd be much easier if you submitted the picture and they just printed it you know, that way on the aluminum. Anyway. Um, I kind of wanted to document what I went through. I did have, you know, two prints with them. I'm going to send this to them and give them a chance to respond, but I'm also doing another print with the Bay Photo just to see if I have the same images, the same problems with them. But anyway, um, that's the latest uh, journey in terms of using the metal prints for the uh, uh, aluminum electronics panels. Okay, just want to do a follow-up video to my last one. Um, this is the first print I got from Adorama Picks, and this is the second one I got after they um, gave me that refund. So again, I'm looking for a rectangle that is about um, 94 millimeters wide, 93.9. So um, if you remember from the last video, um, this one is around 98 and a little bit millimeters wide so I went ahead and had the same exact image printed with Bay Photo this is what just came in um, you can see if you take this one and line up the rectangles that it is smaller so if they are stretching it it's not as much as the Autorama folks um, it does have the square corners which is nice um, if I put the measurement on here, let's see what I get. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So it's about 95, maybe 96. So this is better. Uh, I'm about two millimeters off at the edge instead of the, I guess, four millimeters off. Um, so that is better. There's less stretching going on there. Um, so it's not perfect, uh, but but if we can, I did talk to the Adorama Picks folks. I sent them my last video. 
they were saying what they basically do is they add 0.2 inches to the image that you send them. Um, they stretch it by that amount. So I think what I could do with them, or if someone else wants to try that service, is to add on or make the document properties in your Inkscape image 4.2 inches by 4.2 inches to make a 4-inch print. And that way when they when they stretch it on their end, it would come out and then cut it. It will come out to the 4 inches exactly, um, which would be fantastic. Um, they still have the rounded corner thing, which I'd like to get away from. The other thing is if I can, you know, it looks like maybe the Bay Photo folks, this one, they may also be doing some stretching, but it looks like not as much. Maybe they're doing 4.1 since the difference is about half. Um, so anyway, I'll send this video to both of those folks. Um, if there are things that we can do in the sort of maker hobby community that want to be able to print these things on metal so that we can see and see panels and things, if we just had a little bit of information from them about what they're doing to the photo process on their end so that we can scale it appropriately on our end, such that we get the image the exact size and placement that we want it, that would let us use their services for all sorts of things and it really wouldn't cost them anything. So hopefully we can get that figured out with both of these guys and any other metal printing service out there. So so hope that helps someone if you're gonna either use Bay Photo or Adorama Pix. Okay, one last follow up video. So I got my last prints in from Bay Photo and Adorama Pix. Um, I think I've worked with the companies and finally figured out a, a pretty good method for getting your prints to line up where you need them. Um, I, I think the, uh, well, one lesson learned I've had has goes beyond all this is probably not to print out the circles you intend to drill. Just because if I had just done the text, that way if what I was milling out didn't exactly match the picture you wouldn't be able to tell because it might just be slightly over next to the words but just put the words in the images and things like that and then don't draw out the circles where you plan to uh, where you plan to cut that would be my suggestion for next time but anyway to get the sizes right um, for bay photo I emailed them and let me pull up the email here um, uh, let's see uh, Beth wrote me back and she basically said um, that they add an extra 1.5785 millimeters. I believe she meant 1.5875 millimeters on all sides, which is, uh, I believe, a sixteenth of an inch. So a sixteenth inch on all sides is cropped. So what that means is if... Uh, when you put this image in the, if you create this image assuming it's going to be 4 inches by 4 inches, which is what this print is, um, that image is going to be stretched a little bit and then trimmed to be 4 inches by 4 inches, and that amount is a sixteenth of an inch on all sides. So, since your image is going to get bigger, uh, what I do is I take the, the document properties in Inkscape or whatever your image program is here and so uh, a sixteenth of an inch on both sides would be an eighth of an inch or 0.125 on the on, for width and height so putting that on both I set this to be a bit bigger now that means that when I export the image and put it into their software as a four inch by four inch image effectively the image will be smaller if that makes sense so um, so that when they stretch it and do the trimming, it should come out to be very close to what I had. So that was them. And then for the Adorama picks, I also talked with them. They were very gracious to also send me another sample. Thank you again to both of these companies that have been doing this. I think that uh, folks like me that are trying to print some uh, things on metal uh, really appreciate uh, getting this inside knowledge of what we need to do to make our prints come out exactly what we want. So for Adorama picks, instead of... Um, Instead of a sixteenth of an inch on all sides, it was, um, uh, let me see, it would have been 0.1 inch on all sides, or an extra 0.2 to the width and a 0.2 to the height. So for mine, I made another file um, that was 4.2 inch, and so if you go to the document properties there, you can see that it's 4.2 and 4.1. So that's 0.1 on all sides. 
And you can see the results of that here. So here's Bay Photos. This is the one with the CNC milled and you can see that it's not perfect. So, sorry, the lighting is bad. But it's very, very close for a four inch print. Um, the holes and where I cut lining up pretty close. Again, if I had a lessons learned, I wouldn't actually draw the circle that way. If it's a little off, you wouldn't be able to tell. But it is very close where I need, need to be. So that's the, uh, that's Bay Photo. Um, again, with the 16th of an inch on all sides. This is Adorama Picks. Again, pretty much same exact thing where I got very, very close uh, to what I intended. Um, sorry. And, uh, and this is the 0.1 inch on all sides, so 4.2 wide, 4.2 tall. So for anybody else that wants to be able to use these to print aluminum panels, I believe even if you're not doing 4 inch by 4 inch prints, the amount that they trim is the same. So you're going to have even less of a difference if you're doing bigger prints because that amount is such a small fraction if you're doing like a big 8 inch print or something. Um, but overall, I think this is good. I think this is going to help lots of folks that are trying to do this method that I've sort of been you know proposing to people about getting their uh, electronics panels printed so I'm gonna eventually get out to the to the shed and get these cut out and hopefully move on with my project but I just hope that that helps some some folks that are doing some uh, aluminum electronics panels okay now here you can see the uh, finished product uh, as you can see is much much closer um, uh, sorry for the lighting the um, the holes you can see I'm a little bit off still but that could have been zeroing a little bit um, and maybe my plate wasn't quite square on the table I'm not sure but in general I think if I would have followed this new lesson learned about not printing out the circles where I intend to cut then you would never even notice you would never even be able to tell so um, anyway just wanted to show a follow-up from the uh, results with the new prints. Thanks again to Bay Photo and Adorama Picks. Uh, these metal prints are, are fantastic. I think a lot of people other than just uh, people doing photos are going to find a lot of use out of them.